Good evening, explorers, and welcome to the range, where we're going to be breaking down various weapons, tools, and mechanics of the game sandbox. Today, we are returning to discuss the latest addition to the game, the MP412 Rex in 357 Magnum. For the full ammo breakdown, refer to the full 357 range video. The MP412 Rex is a double action break open six shot revolver developed in the 1990s by Russian state owned Icefielsk Mechanical Plant. It was intended primarily as an export to other countries where the 357 Magnum cartridge is more prevalent. However, because of fucking Bill Clinton and Russian President Boris Yeltsin, a firearm import ban from Russia was put in place. This effectively killed the market potential that the MP412 could have had, and so it never entered production. Then in 2011, the gun was featured in Battlefield 3, bringing it into the mainstream spotlight. I've always found it strange how a weapon that was never really produced can become so popular and iconic. Kind of like the Pancor Jackhammer. In game it has a weight of 0.9 kilograms, a 6 round cylinder, and a damage of fucking 150 per shot. That is slightly more than the Mosin and Tiger, making it the second strongest per shot weapon in the game. So the Rex has some cool features that you would expect out of a revolver. Pressing what is usually the mag release will break the cylinder open and eject any spent rounds. From there you must single load additional rounds. To close it, just flick the gun back and it will lock shut. Interestingly, you can fire the gun in either single or double action. Press the safety select button to either cock or decock the hammer. While decocked, you can use your hand to spin the cylinder. Useful for playing Russian Roulette, but not really much else. Still a neat detail. Also bear in mind that during normal operation of the gun, the cylinder spins counterclockwise. From 100% to 50% durability, it will take 252 shots or 42 full cylinders of ammo. The iron sights are pretty decent, definitely not bad. It has a price of 6,000 and is unlocked at security level 4. For upgrades, you can get an SRL for 450, plus 15% reliability for 600, minus 20% recoil for 750, and a B-rail optic mount for 650. At this time, I am unsure if these can be found out in the zone. I will post an update if this info changes. One last thing I wanted to point out is that the angle you hold the gun is abnormally high. It feels a lot like 1.0 pistols in that regard, which isn't too big of a deal, but it is a bit uncomfortable to use. And free aiming is also harder since it greatly differs from all other pistols. Overall, it's hard to give it a score since I haven't really had any field experience with it yet. But given its massive damage and weight advantage over the Deagle, I think for me personally it would definitely win out. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10. If it turns out you can get one for free out in the zone though, then it probably gets bumped up to a 9 or a 9.5. Either way, I'm looking forward to having some fun with this. So I'm sure some of you are like, well shit, that came out quick, and it did. I busted this out over the course of about 5 hours. I normally don't like to rush my videos, but I'm moving tomorrow and my living situation might get fairly complicated, so I wanted to get this out while I had the chance. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, explorers.